I think I have a touch of the bird flu now. <laughs> Are you ready to break down bird flu for us today? Let's go for it. Ah, a nice chicken. So, a lot of the outbreaks with bird flu are from uh, farms, and even the home operations where chickens are raised. So, these chickens come into contact with wild birds and they acquire the virus. Wow! Nice, an egg. You know, this thing comes out of the same hole the chicken poops from, right? Oh! Ew! A lot of people tell you that you have to be careful about avian influenza virus from eggs. You cannot get sick with avian influenza virus by eating a non-embryonated egg. There are two types of eggs you can get. Embryonated eggs, the ones that eventually give a chick as a byproduct, right? And the stuff that you typically get uh, when you go to a grocery, those are non-embryonated eggs. So for example, if you think about it, when was the last time you saw a bird sneezing and coughing? <laughs> Doesn't happen. Ah, cows. Out in California, there have been some deaths associated with uh, the virus. Cows are, have also transmitted the virus to cats. So what happens in barnyards is the first milk that comes out of the cows gets consumed by these I'm a cat person. The new H5N1 viruses that are in circulation are causing mild infections compared to the previous ones. Years ago, we had mass killings of things like tigers and all kinds of other mammals. And one reason the animals were dying was not because of the respiratory um, outlooks, but rather because the virus was getting in their brain and that's what was killing them. And that's what we're seeing now with our cats, our domesticated cats. The virus gets in the brain. Influenza viruses can get into our friends, dolphins. My suggestion is don't swim around dolphins and interact with them in unnatural matters. Right, just respect them from a distance. <coughs> now we have pigs. Very interestingly, the original very highly lethal H5N1s from years ago did not significantly affect pigs. We could not infect them. The new strains, which are milder, affect pigs. We're not too worried about the virus killing pigs. What we're worried about is these guys are a very good mixing vessel for influenza viruses. And our big concern now is if the H5N1 that's not really making these guys very sick mixes and matches with seasonal influenza viruses and gives rise to a new virus with more dangerous properties and if that gets into humans, uh, that's a very bad thing. What's the similarity between bird flu and swine flu? Swine flu is a misnomer. The USA hates that we coined that term, but swine flu is just another type of bird flu. Huh? Can humans get bird flu? Something that's highly pathogenic in birds is not necessarily highly pathogenic in humans. It just so happens some highly pathogenic avian influenza viruses do cause serious diseases in humans associated with high mortality events. Can bird flu become the next pandemic? Bird flu could become the next big pandemic if the virus mutates to a form that's 
easily transmissible person to person. There are particular genes the H5N1s might pick up from seasonal influenza viruses. It becomes a sort of a two-edged sword. Yeah, more easily transmissible person to person, but if you pick up genes that make the virus better able to replicate in human cells, make it more adapted to growth in, in human cells as opposed to avian cells, then uh, it could become the next pandemic. People react to uh, things we scientists say, and the reactions aren't necessarily always well thought out, or sometimes they're funny. Here's one, it says, WTF, I think we know what that is. Why is any M, N, R, A being allowed to be given to anything that's alive? Haven't any of these people learned anything the last four years? I find this funny because, first of all, it's not mnra, it's mrna. Now, haven't any of these people learned anything the last four years? I'm not quite sure what that uh, is in reference to, but actually billions of people have been saved. Uh, due to mRNA vaccines. So this is obviously a doubter. mRNA vaccines work very well. The next one says, I saw an egg commercial today talking about how caged chickens are getting bird flu, true. So you should buy their free range chicken eggs. So now I feel compelled to remind everyone <laughs> The free-range chickens can and do get bird flu. This is so convoluted. Yeah, it's the free-range chickens, especially, that have contact possibly with sick birds, wild birds. Those are the bigger risk. Okay, so yeah. Um, if anyone tries to tell you that free-range chickens are safer, they're crazy, don't believe it. Bird flu has reached Antarctica. Now penguins and other wildlife are in danger. They certainly are. What did he say? Not only uh, the birds in Antarctica, but any mammals may also be at risk. Migrating birds can bring the virus to the far reaches of the earth and from there go and get into places like Antarctica. Yeah, I'm glad bird flu is over and won't do anything. On the bright side, at least the bird flu turned out to be nothing. Well, we don't know that. And again, we have to watch out. We have to make sure the uh, viruses mix and match its genes with common seasonal influenza viruses, for example, or other uh, influenza viruses. If bird flu turns pandemic, there will be a mass die-off in this country. U.S. will end up as a going concern. That's not a very thoughtful post. First of all, in this country, we have medications like Tamiflu. And the other thing is we have very good uh, doctors, we have good hospitals. And so people who are sick, we, we can keep them alive. We have ways of dealing with it. So that's, that's, that's really not a very thoughtful post. Too funny. Farmers can test their flocks. Did you know you can eat chicks and eggs positive for bird flu, just cook them and wash your hands within 30 days. The infected flock will develop herd immunity, no need to kill them. This is fu indeed funny because H5N1 means highly pathogenic. 
it will kill the flocks. You won't have, <laughs> you won't have birds and chicks to eat. I love the taste of bird flu in the morning. Great. People like you keep me in business. As I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I take a look at Thanks for joining us today. I guess we're certified bird flu experts now, right? <laughs> well, I don't know about certified bird flu experts. I'm always worry about saying expert because the more I know, the less I know. A lot of the birds also, when you go to an outbreak and you see dead birds, oftentimes the birds have a bent neck. They look like they're stretched backwards and that's because the virus has affected their brains as well. So we, we should be wary about that.